joining us right now, uh, two amazing young gentlemen who um, founded and created the Spectrum Laboratory, where honestly, I just can't think of another organization that does a better job of seeing the whole individual. They work with artists and they help them to flourish and um, to grow into the artists that they were always meant to be. So we're welcoming Garth Herberg and Jason Weisbrod back to the show. I adore them if you've watched the show before. There they are. Um, and I'm getting a little bit of an echo and I don't know why, Traven. I'm gonna adjust my- Oh, maybe that's on my end. Let me throw on some headphones. Oh, okay. Um, but How's that? That's so much better. It That'd was be you. Uh, but leave it to, leave it to somebody who understands sound to be able to fix it very quickly. Oh, yeah. But so this good morning, gentlemen, can I tell yeah. you how much I love you? Oh, you love you too. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking earlier, we were looking at both of your headshots, Traven and I, before the show started. And we, we just, we got to commend you on your headshots because your headshots both show both of you exactly as you are people who are full of joy and love what you do. Um, so tell our audience for, for somebody who's tuning in for the first time, tell them what you do and what spectrum laboratories is. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll start G. Um, so we started spec labs in 2015, January, 2015 with six students and two classes, a film class and a music class. And our goal was to, uh, help uh, young adults on the autism spectrum to transition into adulthood and to seek out their passions and their desires in the entertainment industry. So my background is in filmmaking and acting and Gar's background is in music production and composing and played in bands and toured the States and <laughs> did all that fun stuff. And, you know, I got to be in TV shows and movies and we both talked about how we love our passion for filmmaking and music and we wanted to bring it to the autism community and uh and throughout the years with now we have i don't know how many classes do we have now garth maybe 11 12 13 something like I, that i i, I stopped I counting <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of classes and we do one-on-one -on -one mentorships and we have classes now in not just film and acting in music, but we have a live band that Garth uh, orchestrates that plays live performances. We have an improv comedy troupe. We have a voice acting team that is blowing our minds with led by Catherine McCauley, our, who is heading our voice acting department, which she's a professional from the business. And, you know, we do all sorts. We do art and design mixed with animation. We did your lovely opening yeah. Autism Live uh, intro with the tree. Um, some of our artists, Amos Stillwell and Cooper Berea, uh, put that together. And the music behind it was done by one of our artists, Sean McRae. So we're doing all sorts of amazing work. So Spec Labs is really about um, Spectrum Laboratory. We call it Spec Labs for short. Uh, it's really about finding neurodivergent autistic artists out there. In, it used to be just LA, but now because of Zoom and everything, we're working with artists everywhere. But finding them what their passions are and just trying to like link them up with a class or a mentor and really explore how they could one day take their passion and maybe turn it into a freelance or a uh, part-time or even a full-time job in the entertainment industry. Absolutely. You want to add anything to that, Garth? That was great. Yeah. Um, I, I think in the, I think in the first five years, we just started our seventh year. So it's, wow. it's crazy. We have a lot of history yeah. behind us now, but I think the first, uh, I don't know, maybe just, I don't want to put an exact number on it, but the first few years we started, we were focusing a lot on original content and creation with uh, all of our artists. And the last few years, um, more and more of them have been getting hired. We've been bringing in third parties and clients like yourself, uh, like Autism Live. And um, that's just been really, really rewarding and exciting and is the beginning of a whole new chapter, I feel like, for our nonprofit as we just sort of venture more into the entertainment industry and see more of our, you know, students become working artists. So it's, it's cool. That's, it's, uh, what started out is, um, you know, initially just a couple classes is now kind of becoming more of a, a full fledged production company alongside that whole, uh, training and educational branch. Yeah, I super love it. And I think a lot of us um, it, in, you know, there's all these organizations that uh, in, in autism and a, and a lot of them, 
you know, I mean, a fair amount of them are based in Los Angeles uh, for lots of different reasons, right? But um, a lot of us were sort of watching you guys grow and watching the kind of work that you guys were doing. And I think everybody has just said, oh, uh, that's something that I want to support. That's something I want to be a part of. That's something I want to foster. Um, you know, I, I love how loved you guys are in the autism community. I see that it's not just Autism Live. I see you guys have a lot of partnerships. I know that th I saw you guys are doing something with Exceptional Minds right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right we, now we are, right? Yeah. We've, we've done we've done quite a bit with we've them. We've done a lot with um, them. Yeah, yeah they, they're uh, one of their creative directors, um, Howie Hoffman, has been a champion of Jason and myself Howie. since even before we started Spec Labs. He's just a wonderful guy yeah. and, and really been in our corner. We've, uh, in partnership with him and Exceptional Minds, we've worked on a lot of stuff uh, for Special Olympics, for Sesame Street. And right now we have a, a gig we're working on for Hospice Federation of America that's all about, um, it's, it features testimonials from autistic people about the grieving process. It's, it's a really beautiful uh, film that they've made and we're, we're working on the score for that right now. Amazing. Yeah. I love Howie. Howie, Howie's good people and right. talented. Oh my gosh. So talented. So I love that, but certainly, you know, you guys are, you guys have done a lot of different partnerships. Let's, since we're talking about projects that you guys are working on right now, um, give us some of your fancy footwork. What are you working on right now besides the thing with exceptional minds? Oh, well, Garth, you want to talk about the voiceover gig the voiceover thing is huge we got yeah. like how many how many of our voiceover artists are actually being paid right now on yeah this so so 14 of our voice acting 14. artists yeah. have been hired to work with a company called speech kingdom they're creating um, an application that's going to be used on the phone and, and the computer uh that's all about kind of teaching uh kind of social skills um speech skills but it's very accessible and it's fun they've created all these like great little avatars um, and as you can imagine, you know, doing a phone application that's supposed to be centered around like the user's preferences, you know, like boy or girl, do you want to speak to your mom or dad, you know, pick a friend. There's so many variables. So the project scale is huge and they came to us, uh, for casting and we ended up bringing on, yeah, 14 of our voice actors, our head of VO, uh, Kathy McCauley is directing it. And yeah, it's been amazing. We've been working on that for a couple months and we'll probably be continuing to work on that through the year. And using That's your studio, crazy. right? And they're yeah. using uh, our studio, the Gar studio there to do all the work and recording within. So it's a real in-house, like they came to us and they, they didn't really, you know, they didn't know that they would be using us so much. Like they were just kind of, hey, can we cast maybe a couple of your voice actors? And it seems like they brought the whole project to us. So it's really an amazing thing. That's a well, really we got good a point. I, I should mention for, for anybody out there that's um, interested in working with us, we have kind of a one-stop shop here. So we can handle the whole production process for a lot of different things. Uh, for this particular project, um, everything from, you know, hiring our guys to do the engineering in here to the pre-production, the post-production. So, yeah, we've, we've kind of expanded a lot and been able to take on... Um, a lot more than we could before. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I, love it. I know, I know, you know, Lucas Saluski. He's actually being love paid it. as a voiceover actor, but also an engineer. Like he's getting behind not just acting work; he's getting engi actual engineer work, and he's yeah. getting paid to engineer a lot of the sessions. The I just studio. love that, you guys. And and if for anybody who's watching, you know, people have companies, and sometimes you just need something. I will tell you that it was like, what, two years ago that we said we kept running into a problem that we were using royalty free music, but we were doing different things. And it was just always a, like, do we have the contract for that? And then YouTube would ding us because even though it was royalty free music or we paid for it, they would still ding us. It was this nightmare. And we said, this is sort of ridiculous. And and my producer, Traven, said, you know, it would be great if we had some signature music that was just ours that we had the rights to and that we could use and it's just ours and nobody else could use it. And so I said, oh, well, let me go to Spec Labs and see if that's something that they could do. And you guys were great because, I, you know, I, I came and I said, I don't really even know what I need. I don't. I, and, and you guys asked us questions that I love because you guys sort of massage me into, well, let me ask you this. And what about this? And then how, do you like this or do you like that? It was just the perfect. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to every once in a while ask a question. 
And you guys delivered beautifully and we've been using your stuff and even use it in the, in the opening um, montage thing. Mm -hmm. And so then of course, when we wanted a new animation, we came to you guys I, and I found that experience to be just the best um, oh, great. that, yeah. that as a person who needs work done, I think that a lot of times, even among people who have kids on the spectrum, there's this trepidation of if I'm going to work with people on the spectrum, I'm going to have to give more time. I'm going to have to, you know, be my highest self, my most patient self to work with these individuals because they're going to need something extra. And I, I, first of all, I think that's wrong thinking. Um, but I, what I, what I found is that by working with spectrum laboratories that I had to literally do less. If I had been, if I had been working with an artist outside, I know I would have had a much bigger headache because it, you guys did it so seamlessly for me. And, you know, I, I it, it was just amazing. I can't say enough good things about what the process was like. So I highly recommend if you have creative work that you please uh, go to Spectrum Laboratories and say, here's what I need. Um, I think that you guys are really cost effective too, because, you know, you guys ask, what's the budget? You're yeah, we work at fit for the budget, most, you know, usually most of the time. Like we're willing to, like we kind of give you like, this is this version and this will be this version, depending on what you yes. kind of have. Yeah. You give choices, mm -hmm. but you're very transparent about it and say this this choice would be X amount of dollars and this choice would be this amount of dollars. I loved it. You guys are amazing. I can't well, say enough good things about it. Thank you. And speaking though, your job, I mean, we had barely any enough. So the whole thing about it takes more time and all that. We had, would you, we had like oh. two weeks, three weeks to oh. you a new intro. Oh um, my gosh. But no, Amos, it took Amos, less time. Uh, our two artists I put on that, Amos and Cooper are amazing. Uh, Amos yeah. and Cooper Brea, they, they really knocked it out. We had a, storyboard to you like within a couple of days and then started animating within a week and yeah it was it and was you really delivered fun. early i yeah, i had did. said i said you know here's the deadline and it's crazy and i know if i'd gone to anybody else they would have said lady you're out of your mind and you guys did it and did it collaboratively with input from me where i got it wasn't like you just went okay here's the thing and you're stuck with it i got to say oh can you do this and can you do that there was time so um k fox says since you guys produce music are you guys uh familiar with t this thx thing and i don't know what that is like, uh, like oh, sound, sound yeah. systems um, thx sound stereo sound maybe yeah. she's maybe she's referring to um, oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm not sure actually exactly what she, that well, is. In the, yeah. in the first thing she says, there's a, it's the beginning of the DVD for, um, Nemo. I think it's that, the, the, the sound logo for TH, THX, oh, that thing that, that happened. Was that like beginning. a, that like Glissando George Lucas's thing. thing? Yes. Yeah. That's yes. George Lucas's yeah. sound company. And it drives really, her kiddo crazy. It makes him. Really overwhelming sound. Oh, it totally yeah. is. Yeah, that's actually George Lucas's sound production company. His first short film he ever created was called THX. Well, can I say, Lucas. can it's I say this? Backstory. But, but can I also say this is another reason to use Spectrum Laboratories because I don't know if you guys remember, but our old opener to Autism Live, which was three minutes long, and it took you on this crazy journey all around the globe. And it, there was all this animation movement, which first of all would make it glitch because it was so much movement. And we sat down to um, talk with the artists. And I don't remember who it was, but one of the artists said, yeah, your opening kind of, it's overwhelming to me. I don't like it. It makes me dizzy. Yeah, that, that was Avis. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh, it makes me a little dizzy too. And he was like, I just think, you know, if it's a show about autism, maybe we should be a little bit more sensory friendly. And I... I don't know why I didn't hadn't given myself permission to think like that, but Amos mentioned it and I was like, yes. So, you know, THX, if they had someone who was on the spectrum, they might have said, hey, this might be overwhelming for a lot of people in the audience um, mm -hmm. and drive and make it so that it's not a welcoming, warm space. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway. In any case, uh, you guys have a bunch of classes that are going on right now, and you guys are preparing for a concert. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we're starting um, our spring semester uh, 
in February 5th is our first Saturday class, right, Garth? That's right. Uh, and then Monday, so that following week, we start during the week. So we're starting. So if you'd like to enroll or get interest, now's the time to do it. Uh, we have uh, – some of our classes are almost full already, like voiceover and stuff. So, um, you know, go to speclabs.org. Uh, S-P-E-C-L-A-B-S.org and just check out our list of classes and we're gearing up for a show that Garth is, uh, it was Garth's vision so you should definitely talk about that year, yeah. what we're gearing up towards this round. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's I have to say this is maybe uh, out of all the semesters we've run our program the enrollment's been like, boom so there's, there's really not a ton of spots left, I'd encourage anybody that's in LA that's interested, like Hop over to our site soon because we're not going to have much space left. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing a, a concert June 10th at the beautiful uh, Playa Studios venue. Um, big shout out to Adam over there who uh, was so kind and met with Jason and, and myself and basically said, hey, you know, I want to support you guys when you need this awesome space. I can't describe how cool the space is. Uh, it's yours. So he's, he's handed it over and... Um, June 10th, we're going to be doing a concert. And yeah, Jason and Kathy, we're all putting our heads together to try to create just an amazing stage show. We want to kind of take things to the next level. All of our artists are ready to perform. They're dying to get on stage. So yeah, yeah. a live so, show. <laughs> a live we show. haven't had one of those in a while. So it's going to kind of be like a summer of spec, uh, a very funky, fun type of show where we're going to um, kind of highlight what spec labs is through a musical show kind of do a best of spec lab so to speak but with a bunch of new we're not just going to show a bunch of old stuff it's all going to be new performances and and new you know fun it's going to be a totally its own show um so is this reminiscent of spec fest of of old or is this an entirely different thing it's, it's going to be a little bit like a spec fest, but there's not going to be much. I don't think there's going to be a lot of like films or okay. like we may do a film All thing on. later in the year. Like we're trying. So we, we want this to be more of like a music concert is really the, the vibe behind it. Yeah. Um, we, because to go that. from the like the live band on stage, then showing a video, then that's what we used to do at spec fest. And so we're trying to maybe we're thinking about separating, doing like a big music show and then doing like a big film and acting show, mm. maybe like separating them, um, you know, doing kind of doing a little bit like that and so but we're not really sure yet we're kind of experimenting okay. with it it's spectrum laboratory so it's going to have a very it's always you know, going to be fun so that's gonna be fun it's going to be an experimental lab kind of vibe we're gonna just go with what our students really are passionate about and what they want to do and kind of build it from there and so we haven't really talked much to our students or got their ideas yet so we're not trying to plan too much we always i love that right really now. love getting their input and what they want to do and so there's yeah. going to be a little comedy. There's going to be a lot of great music. And, you know, it's going to be a fun event. A fun okay, night. so that's on June 10th at the Playa Studios. And we'll we'll have you back on before that to talk more about it as That'd it shapes great. up. And, um, but, we, you know, we've got people, we've got a lot of people online with us from India today. <laughs> I oh. don't, it's just uh, that that kind of day. Hello. And, Hello. Um, and then I'm not sure, Kay, where you are, but... Um, I, if you're not in Los Angeles, you guys, is there a way to participate during this spring? I know for the last two years, you've been doing a lot of stuff online, but are you still doing some stuff online this spring? Uh, yes, we have um, this spring. We're going to, we have a, a, a spec lab social hour on Fridays at 4 PM. That's on zoom. And that's a way to just kind of meet, some spec lab people be a social thing. Eventually we'd love to do it in person, but we're doing that on zoom, you know, go bowling or whatever, but it's a social hour and it's really fun. We do a little music games, do some acting games. It's really fun. We even do a little mindfulness, some deep breathing and, you know, some stretching. And, uh, and then also um, uh, we do mentorships online. So we do one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if someone is, you know, not in Los Angeles and they'd like to be paired up with a Spec Labs mentor, um, there's a way to get involved. Um, the best thing to do is to just email us um, through our website, go to speclabs.org, go to the contact and send us a message or email the spectrum laboratory at gmail.com. And we'll try to work something out. You know, we may, if time, we don't have the right mentor or the right fit, but We'll get you involved as much as we can, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, but our classes are going to be in person, most of them, this round. Um, 
So I think so. <laughs> it's yeah. all well, day by day. We hope. Yeah. Um, we hope. We hope. Yeah. We also have uh, we have so much really fun stuff online. So for anybody that's outside the area that just wants to, you know, participate in the community, you can check out hundreds of hours of videos we've made or yeah. you know, over like 140 songs we put out. So there's we a have lot so of much um, content on our YouTube channel. There's just so much content. So I would definitely recommend. Yeah, that's a great, great Garth. Yeah, like watch that stuff and see if you like what we do. And then, you know, if you if you're in, you know, Kansas somewhere, but you really want to make a song and a music video, maybe you come out to LA for a couple of weeks and we do a mentorship and you make a music video with us. You know, there's some ways that we can we can figure things out. It's just about, you know, we really try to custom tailor to each specific students needs and their passions and what they want to do and then we just try to see if it's a good fit you know where we can fit yeah. them into our our team we're going to need you to say the email addresses again because they want to take them down and and traven will try to try to type them as well if you go slowly so tell us what the emails and contacts are again so the, we're at spectrum laboratory but for some reason our email is the spectrum laboratory at gmail.com okay. um, but like i said you can contact us on our website at speclabs.org and then okay. just go to contact and you'll see there you can contact so us. speclabs.org mm -hmm. or the spectrum laboratory at gmail.com. There. Nice, Traven. There's yeah, Tra Traven is much more adept than I am. Uh, there we go. There it is. It's up there for you guys. There so, um, and you can rewind to see if you guys need to. We'll try to stick it in the comments too. But, um, because I've watched you guys, you know, our topic this week is seeing the whole individual. And as I said, I think, you know, I don't think anybody does it better than you guys, because I've watched over the years, someone like Lucas Saluski that you guys, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but that Lucas just started taking a class with you guys, but his mother will tell you if you're walking by his mother, she'll go, Oh my gosh, can I tell you how amazing spectrum laboratories has been for my son? And, you know, I saw that all of a sudden, you know, I remember the first time I met Lucas, he said, I want to do, um, I don't know whether he was saying he wanted to do a music CD or at that time, if he said he wanted to do something that had to do with meditation, I blinked and you guys <laughs> had a CD out and he had music videos of him doing um, mindfulness with mm. mixed with music. And he was so over the moon. And anytime that I get to see Lucas, you know, it's just so exciting to say to him, so what are you working on now? And he's always working on something new. And I know his mother has said, you guys have worked just a, a major miracle in his life because you allowed him the space to say, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to be. And then you laid the groundwork for him to do it. He did it, but you guys showed him how he could. And, and he's just one of many people that you guys have worked with. So uh, I know somebody has written in and said that their child needs mentorship. So do reach out to them because these people are amazing. Um, yeah, Lucas. I mean, Garth helped Lucas put out his first record. He has a full length album, Lucas Lucy, called The Fresh Princess of Friendship. <laughs> that is unbelievable. The album is amazing. We have music videos with Lucas. And before he joined Spec Labs, he just wanted to be a pop star is what he would say. I want to be a pop star. I want to release an album. And we were like, all right. So we were <laughs> yeah. kind of helping him. We helped, we were helping him do that. And it's amazing in our community. He kind of is a pop star. Like there's students who have never come to a class and they come and they go, Oh, that's Lucas. That's the, I love my <laughs> microphone guy, you know? And it's really, <laughs> it's really kind of amazing to see that. Well, and to see him at an event, sitting at a table, selling his CDs. It's yeah. just like, it's a thing that should be, but I think a lot of people would have missed that. Um, and you guys made it possible. You have an incubator in which you help people to make their dreams come true. Um, that's, you know, and you can borrow that to put that as a slug line on your poster, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll cop to the quote. Um, but that is what you guys do. And I think that the parents are deeply appreciative but I think the universe should be appreciative because I can't imagine a world in which Lucas Saluski wouldn't have gotten to put out a CD. 
Yeah, it's it's, a, it's, it's one of the it's one of the steps I think with um, a lot of the artists that come in is you know identifying what they're really passionate about about what they they really want to create and honoring that and trying to support them in achieving that goal. But also, you know, Lucas is a great example of someone who's really blossomed in his own creativity. But we've also continued to support him to try to find real world independence and in, in work. And you know, like ask any artist on the spectrum or not, there's a good chance that they might have a side gig or they might have something else to support their love, their passion. So, you know, I think with all of our artists, we try to be very realistic about, you know, yes, pursue your creativity to the fullest extent and we will support you in doing that. But also let's consider other opportunities, other ways you can use these skills you've amassed uh, that could be useful. So, you know, it's not always about you. It's not always about your own creativity. It's about what can you do to provide value and service to, you know, other people in the industry too? You have to kind of have that give and take. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and, and so all of those things are wonderful and you've helped Lucas to learn things. As you said, he's working as a technician as well, but beyond that, you guys, I still say that, uh, well, I won't say it's the best thing you do because you do so many things that are amazing, but one of the amazing gifts of what you have done is you have created an artist community where these young artists have community. They are accepted in the community. They have friends. The When I came to the Spec Fest, I always talk about this with you guys. You did the one music video where you guys shot the camping thing, and it always makes me cry because it's so evident that they have community. And, and it's not just community, it's real community. And it's an artist community where they come and they know that their ideas and opinions matter that their friends have them, that they have a safe place to try whatever they want to try. I, yeah. You can't imagine how valuable that is until your kid is a part of that. And I've seen what you guys do, I, you know, and, and, and just keeping it real, it wasn't something that my son was interested in. I think it has to be the right person and the right, you know, I wish that I could have gotten my son um, to do I, I, I tried too late. I wished I'd tried earlier <laughs> when I still had the ability to force him to do things. Um, but so it's maybe not for everyone, but I have watched it work miracles with so many people um, in our community. It's why I just have so much respect for you guys. So oh, thank thanks. you. And someone else has said, God bless you guys so much for the work that you're doing. Um so, uh, and somebody just clicked on your YouTube channel and they're blown away. Um, and thank oh. you so much. Um, so I'm sure that they'll reach out to you now. We're running out of time. Cause I know you okay. guys have classes and things that you have to go to. So I'm just, I I'm going to be selfish here for a minute. We have a contest going on right now, which I think you mm -hmm. guys are aware of that yes. we're looking for a new logo. And I'm imagining, I've sort of heard little grumblings that, um, you have some artists who are working on it, that we're going to get some submissions from, from your artists. Is this yeah. I mean, I shared it with our whole the artist community and personally messaged it to a bunch of artists. So I'm hoping they send it in. Uh, I know a lot of them are excited about it and want to. Um, so it's a tight timeline. Yeah. It's a do, we tight know timeline. A, do we know when it's, when it's due by? Is there it's due, due by date? February 1st. Oh, okay. I'll do it. Cause we have to pick the winner by Valentine's day. So, um, so we're, we're really looking forward to some great, now there are times uh, when we have come directly to spec labs for artist work. And there are going to be times when we do that again in the future, but we also, the reason why we didn't just come to spec labs and say, you know, you guys do it is because we also wanted to open it up to everyone oh, yeah. in the world. Um, so, you know, but we are looking forward to submissions from spec lab artists. So I'm glad that you guys are on it and taking care of that. Oh, yeah. um, you should you should get some if you I'm sure you probably have maybe hopefully you've got some already but um, I get some more. I I'm trying to stay out of receiving them so that oh, okay. when when I see them it's blind we're gonna put them all up on the wall and I won't know who the artists are so oh, there'll be cool. no chance yeah. that I could that I'm like well I love Lucas Saluski I want to pick <laughs> his I won't know. I won't have any idea who's. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've had a couple artists send some in, but I'll I'll do another uh, reminder. Yes. Yeah. Well, because the deadline is soon, yeah. and and it isn't a whole lot of time, 
And I will say that one of the things in the rules um, says that it has to be a vector image. And, and what we are running into is that we have artists that that is not something that they know how to do. So we are willing to take artwork and figure out how to vector it later. Um, so I will say that's that. something you could, I mean, Amos, I bet knows how to do that. So if you yeah. need to do that, get, come to us if whenever you need okay. to get that done and we can help you with that. <laughs> of course you guys can help us with that. Um, we were just trying to make it easier, but then uh, I think what, un unfortunately it's going to end up discriminating against some artists who just aren't at the point where they know how to do that, who would maybe like to learn how to do that, but don't have the facility to be able to do that. We don't want to leave them out of it. That's actually so, a good point. We, we're, we're, we're starting eventually we were going to do an art and design program. Where we're going to teach a bunch of artists, just stuff, just like that, like Photoshop and how to do all that because for jobs just like this. So a big yep. thank you to you because what you did there and what you've been doing with us has inspired us to kind of see where the work is kind of needed and where we, yep. like what our students, the kind of work they can get jobs doing. And so we're going to continue to work on all that stuff within our organization as too, as far is getting more attainable work for our artists. Yeah. Um, and just, this is a perfect example of a job just that's just perfect for that. So, well, and this is exactly where we're trying to come from is that if, you know, we know that we're going to need a lot of things over the next couple of years. And when we started talking about it, it was like, well, we just, we just have to put our money where our mouth is. And, um, and we thank you guys for helping to facilitate um, because there are times when regardless of whether it's people on the spectrum or not, you know, sometimes you just want to work with a clearinghouse that's going to, and I don't mean to make that, that sounded wrong, but someone who's just going to facilitate it for you. And, and that's what you guys do. And it's really remarkable. So I, again, want, we just want to go over the places that you want to go to. You want to go to speclabs.org or yes. you can email the spectrum laboratory at gmail.com for more information. If you're in the LA area, what's the youngest student that you guys take? Uh, I think our youngest has been eight. Okay. But we usually, but that's, that's young. Uh, we just had a 10 year old in our short film production class. Um, but our, our, I'd say our average age is 18, 18, okay. 19 is kind of like the average group. Yeah. But we do work with younger students. We have a lot of 15, 14, 15, 16 year olds too. But I think our average student is somewhere between that, I don't know, 17 to 24 kind of is usually around because a lot of our stuff is about that transition from out of high school into college into adulthood and work and, you know, finding their, you know, um, <clears throat> their passion in life and how we could yeah. possibly turn into a job. But also we do have some classes that are great for beginners. Um, yep. We don't like just say, hey, this is this is all about getting you a job. It's not. It's also about, you know, starting young um, and getting them interested in the arts and seeing where their, you know, passion may lead to. And, and Well, then, exactly, so, yeah. which is my next question, because if people go to your website, they're going to see a vast array of classes. And if they're not sure... Like, oh, I don't know what it, whether to put them in this class or the other. I've seen that it all sort of shakes down and that you guys, if they put them in one class, you guys meet that individual. And then by the next time, they're they're 100% in the class where they, they groove. But is there a class that you recommend for the first one? Um, I think improv acting is really fun for like any age, um, unless they're... Uh, and it, it depends on their level of communication and like, right. you know, uh, if they're very socially awkward and don't like being outward, you know, like if they're very introverted, I, maybe not the best class where something like a short film or writing okay. production, writing short films might be. But then on the music side, I mean, there's a recording workshop. This round, it's a little bit more guard towards this show, but we usually can find, you know, the best thing is to just reach out to us and we can like do a consultation and yeah. like kind of figure out where, where the fit, okay. you know, if I could, if I could add on to that, yeah, so yeah. I, I think that uh, some of our classes have a very low barrier to entry. Um, in, in general, we really like to see uh, students that ha they have a clear passion or interest. We're not really interested in sort of like a, just babysitting your kid. Like we, we really want to bring in students that have a strong interest. They don't even necessarily need to be, have a lot of experience, but it's clear that there's something they want to do. 
Okay. Um, and I would say with the voice acting class, yeah, voice uh, acting. It's a very all low, levels. very low barrier to entry because yeah. it's as long as you're comfortable using your voice. Um, and yeah, I think I think with uh, the acting class with improv acting, um, the same. You know, if you're comfortable using your voice, there's a lower barrier to entry. I think um, some classes are a little more specialized, but some of the the online classes are great too. Like the mindfulness class, I feel like is very open. Okay. Uh, and I think the social hour is also very open that we're excited to start doing on Fridays um, in February. I so there's there's definitely options. It's just kind of a, a a sliding scale as far as like you know the challenge that needs to be met. But but just hit us up if you're interested. You know, contact us. We are still a small nonprofit, so everybody that comes through our doors, we get to know them. We get to know what they need and where they're at. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Amazing. I got to let you guys go. Garth has All something right. he has to go to. Goodbye, Garth. I love you guys <laughs> so much. Um, we're going to be back tomorrow. Go ahead and go, you guys, because I know okay. I promised you 11. Uh, right, much really, love, Shannon. Mwah, much love to you, too. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.